Now summer is complete without touring. Well, at least for me not. There's something special about sleeping on the bare ground in the middle of nowhere, hearing only the sea and breathing in the salty sea air mixed with pines. I like to call it grounding. So, here's the map of the region. Our finish point was the northern seaside of the Slither National Park in the middle of Sigrax and Mazirbe. The water of the Baltic Sea is green, but not crystal. The sand is whiter than the one found on the beaches around the Riga Gulf. And the water was also warmer that day, which is always much appreciated. The most precious things in life are for me. Yeah, that's true. All in all, the landscape of the park is little influenced by humans, which makes it another untouched nature treasure that you know I love so much and value a lot. Slater National Park is a big open-air museum that contains the largest areas of dunes and wet areas between them in all of Europe. Because it's a nature park, there's quite a few things forbidden, but we still camped on the beach like we always do. I personally think that it is okay as long as you don't litter and make a campfire. That is, just leave the place just the way it was before you. We arrived in the evening, so it wasn't that long until sunset. My dad looked at Estonian lighthouses and bypassing ships. There is actually only 30k to the Estonian seashore across the sea from the place we stayed. It's called Irbenaro. I just enjoyed the view. Breathtaking. In the morning, we just packed our stuff, had some breakfast, and hit the road once again, heading to the Slater Lighthouse and then home. I do sometimes get the feeling that I might get a bad impression of the place visiting it the second time, but I usually get over it when I get to see something new in a well-known place. So, this time we got informed that there's an almost finished nature trail by the beacon. At first we weren't so sure that we want to go, you know, living in the country you think you have seen everything there is in the softwood forest. But no, I guess you can't ever see enough. The trail was magical. No, I really mean it. It goes through forests and swamps that have been untouched for centuries and are a home place for so many animals. Like this thinky over here. Well, she wasn't that happy that we interrupted her while she was sun worshipping. Anyways, the animals were everywhere. I saw squirrels, lizards, mice, snakes, even some fresh muddy big cat footprints on the trail. So this nature trail is definitely a must see in my list. For this time that's all, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos from myself. Bye!